drum recording room as well, I can see. Oh yes, this is the this is the Rancho kit. That's it's pretty much been on almost every single recording. Almost no drummer has gone. Not that it's like the biggest sounding set, but it's somewhere in between like Charlie Watts and John Bonham yeah. sound. So it works for jazz or it works for rock. You yeah. know, if you want to beef it up, you can you can do that. So but drummers don't bring the drum kit. They some some people do, but really, I think maybe I've only done three sessions that they weren't used. Do you have everything mic'd up the way that yeah, you know, it sounds? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, people change stuff around. Uh, the Arctic Monkeys, when they came, they used a plexi kit. Yeah. Because that's his sound. Uh, yeah, that little, kind of, little, yeah. And it's completely different from this. Yeah. And uh, they used a couple of toms for, you know, songs. Yeah. But, but they were one of the few bands. Most people are... Plus, a lot of people... It's, this is more of a writing studio, especially since I live here now. And it's close friends. Yeah. People don't usually come for... A month or whatever. No. A few bands have Uncle and Duke Spirit both were here for six weeks. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you can experiment a little yeah. bit more. But for the most part, you know, it's, it sounds pretty good yeah. to begin with. And then yeah. you can just tweak a little bit around yeah. that. Yeah. Well, it's a very nice studio. I love, all, I love, <laughs> all, the, yeah, I love all that. You have a bunch, a lot of like more quirky stuff. Yeah. You know, it's not the classic yeah. big Marshalls and a... And a strat on this pole. Right, and right. It's, it's a little, it's a little off the beaten path, which I really, really like. Yeah, well, you know, we, everybody I know, we all like kind of weirdly. I mean, I do have the Marshall, and yeah. I, but I, I prefer little amps. Although this Super Reverb, probably my favorite amp in here. It's a very strange. That's got to be a loud one. I guess. It sounds great. Yeah, well, if you would like to play, it's plugged in. I think and. You, if you want to check it out, yeah, this is my, this is my '57 Strat. Is that a '57? Yes, it is. That's a '57 Strat. Yes, and that's oh, you've been mean to it. <laughs> I well, it was it In was a, a little way. it was a little it was a little jinked up when I got it, but it was all stripped when I bought it. I bought that in 1978, so I've had it that long, and I've used it in every band from Eagles to Earthlings to Ma I use it in Masters. So do you uh, did you put in the Kayla vibrato and all? Yeah, that well? I mean that was in the '80s, you know, yeah. where, where it didn't no one. You could buy these strats for a thousand dollars back then. Who knew they were going to go up to like? Who knew they were going to go up so high? Oh, what? oh sorry. Oh. That's, with, that's, with, that's with your overdrive yeah. on. That's a nice sounding game. It's 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 got some wolf to it. And if you want some good distortion, some good clean. Is that the amp doing the docking kind of thing? Yeah. Oh, uh, you know what? I think uh, it might be yes. It's pretty low. It's only on two there. And then if you want a crazy ass fuzz, you can go with this guy. That's a great sounding fuss. Isn't it good? For this tour, it's um, we're using. A, actually, I'm using a '65, not a okay. reissue, but an actual a '65 oh. one that my friend has. My friend Toss in Amsterdam has a couple, so Chris and I are going to use okay. actual '65 yeah. twins. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I mean, you know, usually when you go to Europe and there's not a big budget, you yeah, you, you take whatever and. Yeah. 
The, the, luckily, our friend Toss has amazing gear, so he's letting us borrow. He's letting us borrow two of those, and then he's got a kind of like this. It's a pro reverb head yeah. with four tens. I love the pro reverb. That's my favorite. Yeah. That's my favorite. I had one of those, and it got stolen. Yeah, I've as been well. looking for one of those as well. They're a little pricey now. They're, yeah, they are. They're getting up. Everything is getting pricey. Even stuff you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't pay anything for. Yeah. Like 15 years ago, it's like. I know. I mean, luckily, I got I got this a long time ago, which is another. I don't know if you like Dan Electro. But that's them. another one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, there was a Beverly Hillbillies, which is a TV show. I don't know if you're familiar with the Beverly uh, Hillbillies. It's about a family maybe. from Tennessee that strikes it rich, and they it's from the '60s, you know. Yeah. And they go to Beverly Hills, and they're they're hillbillies. Yeah. So anyway, at one, on one show, the the main guy is playing oh, one. He's playing? Oh. And when I saw that as a kid, I was like. That's the coolest. Yeah. So I finally got one, and that thing is really one of the better guitars in here. It stays in tune perfectly. Both the guitar and bass sound amazing. For the price amazing. and the way they're built, I mean, they're you know they're amazing guitars. Yeah, I, think. I mean, but you can pick up some that are just you know like lousy. But that one. That do you one, use it live as well? Uh, I do. In fact, the first tour I did, first three tours I did with uh, Eagles of Death Metal, we didn't have a bass player at that point because the albums only had. The first album only has bass on one song, ah. so I took that yeah, and we played perfect. a three piece, and I played bass on that. But you used the guitar as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Through the bass amp. Yeah, ah, sounds perfect. great. Yeah. I mean, we have one. We have a the fifty nine. Oh yeah. Black yeah. one at TC. Uh, remember, I bought that for TC. The the guitar. Yeah, just the guitar yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, classic. Let's say Lynn, Jimmy Page. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. I gotta have one of those. So you can talk Jimmy Page all day long to Chris because uh, he can play every Led Zeppelin song backwards and forwards, <laughs> and that's his favorite. Cool, yeah. yeah. Well, as well as one of my favorites for sure. Oh, well, it's definitely great. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully we'll get Jimmy Page to do Tom Prince. Actually, think I think, we'll I think he should, too. man. I think he should. We'll I mean, only the best, right? You know? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>